So we're in Advanced Steel and we're taking a look at the power pack for Advanced Steel and in particular we're focusing upon the railings and we're actually going to look in particular to the railing end types and we're going to focus upon the loop end. And for this version we've introduced some changes to how the loop end works and its orientations within the dialog. So if we change to the subtype ending after enabling the loop we can see that obviously it uses the tree arrangement again to branch between the start and the end for the top rail elements and obviously there is a loop end formed here already from some previous settings. So again just to run through how this works quickly before we change there so if we do horizontal and then a long slope you'll see that the end of the rail changes common part of this is that the corner details are formed as radius corners or bent ends under the dialog and this is where the change is in this version is that we've introduced an option to change to a mitered corner and this is controlled within this panel here called corner group one and then similarly if we change to corner group two we can see that this is not active currently because we don't actually have the horizontal segment. So if we pop back up to the top and change the loop type to horizontal, we can now see the radius elements entered into the dialog and we can see bent and mitered now available within corner group two, which has become active. So if we change that to mitre, we'll see that those elements will change to be a mitered corner. Now similarly at the moment we have connect to mid rail checked, if we uncheck that it will become detached and the rail return segment will go horizontal, you've only got one mitered or corner junction in corner group 2 available but you can still access that and change this as you require. So I'm just going to put that back to mitre and similarly I'm just going to obviously recheck that so I'll take it back up into there and reintroduce that corner type. Now similarly if we go back to a long slope the option here we can see that we are actually vertical with this but we could also change to perpendicular and the option still remains available under corner group type 1 to change between mitre and radius corner arrangements. Now obviously we've been focused on the bottom of the rail but if we come back up to the top of the rail we can see that we can control the same elements within here at the rail end. Now within this obviously the rail is finishing level so we don't have all the different options to change here because we don't need to introduce a horizontal element. Corner group 1 is active and we can change this to mitre and this will put a mitre within that segment of the rail at the end. So working with both these options and the changes we made in the dialog, the user can now choose to use either a radius corner or a mitered corner within the loop end configuration for the railing type in the power pack for advanced steel, stairs and railings.